What's up guys, I'm Jonathan Buckhouse and today I'm gonna to teach you how to do a backside 360. Now before you guys start a backside 360, make sure you know how to do a backside 180. If you don't know how to do that, check this video out right here. Once you learn the backside 180, then we can go try the backside 360. What a backside 360 is, is when you go off a jump, you are going to take your head, pull it backwards, do a 360 degree rotation, land right away, super cool. The reason why it's called backside is you're popping off your toes, and you're pulling your back towards, like down the mountain, backside spin. A front side spin is when you pop forwards. So, backside 360. So first things first, you wanna find a nice, small, medium sized jump that you wanna learn this trick on. Straight air it a couple times. Do a couple backside 180s on it. And then we know we're ready to throw that backside 360. But before we throw it, make sure you unstrap completely and just practice the rotation. The last thing we wanna do is go off a jump and we've never spun a backside 360 ever because then we're just adding airtime, jump, snowboard. It's gonna be like too much for us to process. So unstrap, put your hands in front of you. We are going to pull backside, kind of looking over our shoulder. We don't wanna be looking down because if we pull down for that rotation, we're gonna end up going cork and not gonna be able to land. We're gonna land on our butt. So, so pre-spin, 360. So do this a couple times. One very important thing is take, don't take, one very important thing is your head and where you're looking. You're not trying to look up into the sky. Make sure you're keeping your head very level when you're rotating. And now that we've practiced it here off the ground, we gotta go talk about dropping in for a second and then we're almost ready to throw this trick. I almost forgot one last reel we need to do before we try and spin off the trick is we're gonna strap in. We're gonna be going down a run and we're gonna be just spinning in a backside 360. Once again, the goal is to get your head and your body used to going around in a backside 360. We want to know where are we supposed to look? How's it gonna feel for my shoulders? We can feel all of that with this drill right here. practice our drills of jumping and doing 360s which you guys can do at home by the way and then on the run spinning around practicing the 360 once again we're ready to hit a jump now for a jump we want to simplify our approach so we are going to do some pre setup carves is what they're called so with the setup carve the way I like to think about it is the edge that I'm going to spin off of so for backside 360 toe edge I want to drop on that toe edge. So we're gonna drop toe edge, go heel edge, and then we're going up the jump on our toe edge, and then we're ready to throw the trick. Keep it simple, drop on your toes. That heel edge is where you can take the speed off if you're going too fast, or you can make it a tight heel edge so you can continue to hold your speed, and then when you're going up the lip, you go to your toe edge, and then you can throw your trick. So once we start stomping the 360, the next step is to add grabs. And the best part about a backside 360 is you can literally do every single grab in the book. I recently learned backside 360s with nose grabs. They're so fun and I think they look super clean because they kind of keep your spin kind of like level, like super level. So add spins, do what you want. You can do them off of rails. You can do it off of side hits. Backside 360s are personally my favorite jump trick to do. It's like my go-to. I've done so many of them that I trust the Backside 360 so much and I hope you guys can get there as well. Now, if I miss anything on this tutorial, make sure you guys comment down below. Let's help everybody learn how to do Backside 360s as well as what's the next trick you want me to cover. Comment down down below and I can help you guys become the best snowboarders possible, which is the goal of my channel. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you got anything from this video, literally anything, 
hit that like button. Don't forget, Team Hawkeye, you can get any of the Evolution merch. All linked in the description. And of course, now that we finished the tutorial, the sun comes out. But with that, Team Hawkeye, thank you so much for shredding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen. Feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, no. I ain't never gonna need nobody.